Okay, there's an exercise in your textbook towards the end of the coordinate geometry chapter called Families of Straight Lines. Um, and it's sort of just a nice mixture of questions. The idea of a family of straight lines is um, a group of straight lines that have, you know, a common uh, feature, um, but some variable features. So for example, we could talk about the family of straight lines that look like, that have equations of that form, y equals mx. So these are lines where the gradient can change because M can change, but there's no plus C or the C is zero. So the y-intercept is always at zero, zero. So this is the family of graphs that go through the, straight line graphs that go through the origin, but have all different gradients, okay, etc. cetera. Um, we could have another family of straight lines with an equation of this form. So they all have a gradient of two, but they have different y-intercepts. So there's y equals 2x plus 0, there's y equals 2x plus 1, there's y equals 2x plus 2, 2x plus 3, 2x minus 1, etc. Okay, so um, that's the sort of thing we're talking about. A, a group of lines that have something in common, but equally something that can vary. So example 1, let's consider the family of lines with equations of the form y equals c minus 3x. You might find it easy to think about that as negative 3x plus c. So we know they've got a gradient of negative 3 and an unknown y-intercept. Okay, so a ch not unknown, but a changing y-intercept potentially. What feature is the same for every line in this family? Gradient of negative 3. In terms of C, give the coordinates of the y-intercept for all lines in this family. Okay, so the y-intercept is when we let x equal 0. So I haven't left a lot of room here. We let x equal 0. So negative 3x plus c. Um, oh, sorry. No, we don't need to do that. That's the x-intercept. The y-intercept, when we let x equal 0, that's why I haven't left my spa much space, the y-intercept will just be c. Okay? So the y-intercept gives me 0, c. A lot of students have trouble with this in terms of c. It doesn't mean that your answer should be c equals. Your answer is y-intercept equals. That's what you're finding. But your answer will be in terms of c. Your y-intercept will be described with c in it. Okay? So here's our c here. y equals c is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. In terms of c, give, coordinate, give the coordinates of the x-intercept for all lines in this family. Okay, so for our x-intercept, we're going to let y equal 0. That's what I tried to do before. Now, we're not solving for c. We're finding the x-intercept. We're getting solving for x, and the answer we get will have c in it. Okay, so this means that if we add 3x to both sides, 3x equals c, and so x equals c divided by 3. And so therefore, the x-intercept is c. It asks for coordinates is c divided by 3, 0. For what values, sorry, for which values of c is the axis x axis intercept greater than 2? Okay, well the x intercept is c on 3, so we want to know when is c on 3 greater than 2, solving that inequality, when c is greater than 6. For which values of c is the x in axis intercept greater than 2? Find the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals c minus 3x and passing through 0, c. Okay, so if it's perpendicular to c minus 3x, the original gradient's negative 3, so the gradient, the perpendicular gradient is going to be positive 1 third. And it has to go through the point 0, c, which is a y-intercept. So that means that um, we've got gradient and y-intercept, and so therefore the equation would be 1 third x plus c. Perpendicular to this line, but going through, also going through the same y-intercept. A particular line in this family passes through the point 5, 7. Now, sorry, this question is a little unclear. Let's talk about structure of a question. This sentence up here, that's the stem. That applies to everything that comes after it. So every single question should be read as, consider the family of lines with equations of the form y equals c minus 3x. What feature is the same for every line in this family? Consider the family of lines with equations of the form y equals c minus 3 or x. In terms of c, give the coordinates of the lines of this family. So part f here, consider the family of lines with equations of the form c, y equals c minus 3x. A particular line in this family, meaning this family, okay? 
pass us through the 0.57 from the equation of this line. So it is a bit ambiguous, and to be honest, it would probably be a bit, a bit clearer, but we're not referring to that answer there. It would have to say a particular line in the family of equations found in part E. But in terms of how the question is read, each of the parts A, B, C, D, E, etc. are independent of each other. They all just reference back to the stem. You would need to have a new stem written here for there to then be something else to apply further on. Or if you were referring, if this was referring to the equation in part E, then this would be a subpart of E. So this would be E part one, you know, a particular line in this family. Okay, so we're talking about the family, the original family, C minus three X, it goes through the point five, seven. So that means when X equals five, Y equals seven. So let's sub that into our equation. So 7 equals C minus 15, which means that C equals 7 plus 15, which is 22. And so therefore the equation of that line is 22 minus 3x. Okay, so it's part of this family, I'm oh, sorry, it's part of the original family and it goes through the point 57. Okay, so exercise 2F, um, some similar questions to those.